Well, first and foremost, it's worth mentioning I'm in the town called Pays Porta, which is one of the hardest hit. The confirmed death toll here is of 52. Uh, that is almost a quarter of the overall death toll of these floods, and that's of what's known so far. All around me, I'm surrounded by homes where there is no running water or electricity. Uh, just next to me is a home where a whole family, helped by their volunteers, are unloading out their house bucket by bucket of thick muddy water. I walked past uh, a health center just now where you could see the equipment strewn uh, across the street, those uh, recognizable doctors, surgery, armchairs strewn across the street. It's very clear no health care will be administered there for some time. Um, it's also uh, worth mentioning that two aid distribution points have been set up in this town, both primarily staffed by volunteers. Residents we've spoken to describe very vividly a stench of death that comes back even more strongly in the evenings. And that's a reminder of this uncomfortable reality. We've spoken to police officers to ask them um, about uh, the numbers of missing persons. And they won't give us that figure. They say that the authorities have an estimate, but they're not releasing it because it's too sensitive a topic at this time. The fire services are, of course, working round the clock pumping water out of the underground car parks, of which there are, of course, many in these Spanish towns, which, of course, brings us back to this omnipresent reality that there are survivors, there are confirmed deaths, but the full scale of the human loss from this tragedy remains unquantifiable. Amid that, a lot of it's questions. It's worth mentioning as well, with regards to the help and the difficulties the authorities have been having. The army has been deployed today. I've seen one uh, army vehicle in this town, but the army presence is not very visible. The, by far the biggest presence we've seen is those thousands of volunteers coming all the way from Valencia. Now, they were, of course, told not to come. That was a call issued by the authorities yesterday evening. They were told not to come back, saying that this mass exodus uh, towards the southern and suburbs was causing difficulties uh, for the emergency vehicles and for the essential supplies uh, reaching these towns. But they have come anyway today. They are out in droves. You can see them arriving behind me with their equipment. Residents we've spoken to say they feel completely abandoned by the authorities. The resounding message is there is not enough help. And thank God that the volunteers came without whom we'd have spent all of yesterday completely alone. Now, we're already seeing a bigger presence from the authorities yesterday than we were seeing uh, today's sorry, than we were seeing yesterday, but the road ahead to put this, to restore this town, to get it back on its feet is extremely long.